Hey guys, good morning. Since I'm leaving soon, I figured one last trip to Trader Joe's because I'm not really near any Trader Joe's in New York and when I go to Asia, I don't think Trader Joe's, Trader Mings, I don't, I don't think they exist there. So, one last trip. I had an airplane in college. It died. And if you're wondering how to kill an airplane, well, you just give it so much love and attention to how it becomes suffocating. Trader Joe's spicy hummus is a must get. I remember this. This was the first hummus I've ever had in my life. Got me through some tough times. While I was going through my first breakup in New York, it was a lot of tears and hummus. Whoa, Korean style short ribs. Compound chicken mochi balls, butter chicken. Wow, look at all the Indian food here. Chicken tiki masala. Oh, a lot of here. Man, Vandaloo. Fiery chicken curry. Yellow jackfruit. Curry with jasmine rice. I got a really good feeling about the Indian food from Trader Joe's. Actually super excited about all that. Oh, shrimp tempura. Oh, I love shepherd's pie. Only five bucks. This is a big portion. Whoa, shakshuka. Think we got enough for breakfast? This is like an Indian slash international feast. I've been eyeing this honestly for the last, well, every single trip I've been here. So heading back to New York soon, maybe a little taste in New York before I go. Also, it's only like six bucks for this massive, it's pretty, pretty hefty cheesecake. All right, so we're gonna, oh, I just totally forgot something. Uh, I didn't get the nun. Basically, I, I've got none. How do I eat Indian food without none? <sighs> Be right back. Also, someone from Zane messaged me on Instagram and said this is the best Indian dish here in Trader Joe's. We'll see, Zane. We'll see. All right, got my none and got a fish curry. So I didn't want to just go all the way back there for one thing, you know? But before we get to the Indian food, let's start with the shakshuka. I saw this at Trader Joe's, I had to get it. Like I said, last time I had this was in Israel. This is a really popular Mediterranean dish and one of the best ways to eat eggs. Oh, that's good. A couple of poached eggs drowning in tomatoes and garlic and peppers and onions. All the flavors you need to wake up to in the world's sweet, zesty, creamy, juicy. Mmm, yummy. Add a couple drops of hot oil. That was amazing. I mean, I like the shakshuka, but... This dash enough to make me happy. Mm. All right, next up, let's try the tempura shrimp. Today's really gonna be about the Indian food, but I just can't walk past like a shrimp tempura or Korean style beef rib without picking this up. I can't wait to try this. I haven't tasted it yet, but my food senses are tingling all over the place. Listen to this. That's the sound of a beautiful crispy skin. It smells good. Huh? Oh, oh. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I mean, it's not gonna taste like a tempura you get from a restaurant in Japan, but trust me, if someone puts this on top of your udon, you won't be upset. It also comes with a dipping sauce. Have you heard how crunchy it is on the outside? You can actually taste the shrimp. The batter is pretty light. That's pretty good dipping sauce. You can just put the whole thing in your mouth, including the tail, which is honestly just tastes like a little shrimpy chip. Wow, I can't believe this is frozen tempura. This is another one of those items if you get it at a restaurant. I mean, yeah, like I said, it's not gonna taste as good as a tempura restaurant in Japan, but you definitely wouldn't think this was frozen. Hmm, huh. listen to that crunch. Oh, I'm about to do something that might be really questionable to a lot of people. Spicy hummus, my favorite hummus from Trader Joe's. Seriously, this got me through a lot of tough times. So, Amazingly good. Now we take our tempura. Wow, 
I actually have a video titled Trader Joe Food Hacks. And it's just like all about pairing things that you would never ordinarily think will go well together, but absolutely does. What's not to love? Texture wise, this thing is crunchy, pairs so well with the creamy hummus. Also, the mild flavor of the shrimp is made even better by the chilies and the olive oil. Look at this, the tail of the shrimp. It's just a perfect little scoop. Trust me, try this. These two, I like these.